Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business, I uh, love business development, business consulting and business advice. It's, I'm actually doing a little series called the Top 50, the Top 50 Mistakes that Restaurant Tours Make. And I've made a lot of those mistakes. I'm here to share with you what's worked and what hasn't worked. And uh, this, this I'm going to be, you know, this section here, I have two things, uh, number 18 and 19, I'm going to be really brief on. I'm not going to get too in-depth because you know you need to do these. Number 18 is you need to bid out goods and services. You need to beat up your vendors. You need to make bids. You need to let uh, vendors know that they don't have your business exclusively. I'm really not a fan of... Um, of signing prime vendor contracts. I'm not a fan of price plus, you know, cost plus, because here's how it works. In fact, it's a scam. Basically, your cost plus, a lot of people say, oh, well, cost plus 4%. Yeah, cost of what? what? What kind of cost? There's several different costs. The cost, let's say ketchup costs a dollar a bottle. Well, that's what Cisco will buy from Heinz from a dollar a bottle. It lands in the warehouse at a dollar a bottle. Well, now, of course, they're not going to charge you a dollar oh four for it because they would be out of business. See, vendors usually make about a twenty percent profit. Okay, so that's what their margins are about. So now they're going to add whatever they feel they need to, and they're going to pad it along the way. So they had to pay, of course, the guys to stock the pallets. They might figure that's another three percent or two percent. They might have to now, of course, they have to pay the salesman. You know, he gets a commission four, five, six, seven percent, whatever it is, plus his salary, plus all the overhead of the building and everything. So they're going to say, let's take that ketchup and put it up to a dollar forty because that's what we really need to make money. Now, if we can charge a dollar fifty for it, dollar sixty, we're doing a great job, okay? But now the salesman comes, so I can do cost plus. The sales cost is on that is a dollar forty, so I might be able to do cost plus four percent which is you know a dollar forty nine dollar forty eight you think wow i'm getting a great deal I'm doing cost plus four percent no it's not the true cost of it okay so you really need to understand a prime vendor before you get into it you need to understand that um you can't be locked in to a vendor and the whole cost plus system and you need to go out there and just beat up people now don't cut corners in quality i'm not saying do that you can, you can really beat up vendors when it comes to the stuff that guests do not see. For instance, your propane, your gas, things like that, your oil, um, your garbage. As long as they're reputable companies and they're getting you a good, the good product, you can really beat up these guys and say, hey, I need the lowest possible price, but don't get the lowest possible price in chicken breast or something else because that's going to usually be an inferior product that your customer will notice at the table. So. Beat up your vendors, save some money. It makes a huge difference. Two, three years ago when I did this, I shaved about $80,000 in expenses in my restaurant. 80000 in one year I shaved by just being very conscious of my food cost and uh, and what I was buying. It worked out phenomenal. I hope you can do that too. And I'm, of course, I'm making these videos because I want to help and I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission.